that we reach and the speed that we give to those people, we are in the very, very early stages. We've got a long way to go still, and the market's got a lot of growth potential left in it. Speaking of so, you've already laid what you can say, so far about your Zimbabwe and other neighboring countries. What do we really need for us to accelerate and try and cover up this gap? What's the missing piece? Okay, just to be clear, Zoll is not Liquid an operator. Yeah. Zoll is the retail of, of Liquid. Liquid it, it is a, it's an ISP operation. It doesn't itself own any fiber. Liquid Telecom has run fiber um, throughout Zimbabwe and into our neighboring countries. Um, as I said today also in my talk, we've got huge highways already built. We've got very big capacities from the sea back into Harare and around Zimbabwe. What we're missing now is the last mile connectivity. It's getting it from our data centers to the home users. And that's what's missing. And that's being filled at the moment by ever increasing wireless technologies, speeds, and also by fiber to the home. Too. And then there was a bit of to be that touch in there on sharing on the fiber, sharing on the infrastructure. Yeah. Do, do you really think ISPs are going to kill that anytime soon as well? There's lots of different ways you can share. Sharing doesn't necessarily mean an echo stake in every single cable. IAP that's running on Zimbabwe. Sharing is also not about uh, doing necessary capacity swaps. Sharing can be simply selling capacity on a commercial basis to various different people. And that happens now. Uh, Liquid Telecom has a very open policy that can sell commercially uh, on all of our networks to anyone, whether they are an end customer, whether they're a competitor, uh, it doesn't make a difference to us. Um, and so certainly at that level, uh, the sharing is, is, is very much going on. Okay. Uh, so when we speak of sharing on the actual infrastructure, we, 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 as Liquid, what, what's your policy on that? In terms of sharing on the actual infrastructure, it is quite difficult technically to physically share duct, to physically share fiber. Um, because it becomes a question of who's managing it, who fixes the brakes, who is uh, managing the investment, who is dealing with the different technical standards of what you're actually running. As we said today in the talk, some people will run the cable higher in the ground, some people will put it lower in the ground. It's very difficult at this stage, in the early stage of the market, to be sharing the physical infrastructure. But sharing the services and sharing the bandwidth over that infrastructure is by far the easiest way to go and is happening today. Thanks so much for your time, Pleasure.